Hyatt Denham is a small company with big ambition and based on a simple conviction. This town knows how to make jeans. Like, it's insanely good at that one thing. David Hyatt is a Welsh entrepreneur committed to breathing new life into a town where making jeans is in the blood. An old factory used to mass produce 35,000 pairs of jeans a week. Then it closed, 400 jobs gone. Now, Hyatt is offering hope. There's a sense of community going, do you know what? We stand for something which is, we're bringing these jobs back and this town, you know, is not gonna let these skills go. You know, we didn't spend 40 years learning something to throw it away. And we're fighting for the right to make. It started in 2012 and now employs 22 people. Everyone a highly skilled machinist from the old factory. They make the jeans from start to finish. And then, just like an artist, sign the finished article. Six years later, this little company is acquiring a global reputation. Hyatt jeans are now sought after, everywhere from Hollywood to the streets of Milan and Paris. But they'll cost you, depending on what kind of design and what denim you choose, anywhere between two and three hundred dollars a pair. There's even been royal approval. Meghan Markle, fiancé of Prince Harry, insisted on wearing her Hyatts on her first trip to Wales. Orders now come in faster than ever, online only. There's a waiting list of about a month. Instead of 35,000 pairs a week, Hyatt is up to 150. But last year, the business grew by 60%. Claudia Belletti is a so-called grand master cutter. Left school at 15, has been in the jeans business for 50 years now, creating patterns and precision cutting sections for the machinists to assemble. Well, I know that it's pride. People are proud to produce a pair of higher jeans because they know how much, they put their hearts and souls into it because it's their garment. They sign every garment. Hyatt's goal is to eventually employ everyone who used to make jeans in Cardigan and prove manufacturing still has a future here. It's about preserving skills and pursuing quality. And it seems that even for a pair of jeans, people are willing to pay a price for that. Simon McGregor with TRT World, Cardigan in Wales.